Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So finally today, we're going to talk about Harry, Meghan, Catherine, and Beatrice. We're going to get caught up on all of them, um, see what's going on in their lives. So finally, I've had a couple days delay. You may even hear a little bit of congestion still uh, in my, uh, I'm a little nasally, but uh, I'm back. So we'll get this reading done, and I want to thank you so much, and I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, you know, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Yes, so we want to uh, get busy with this video. Something, I'll tell you what happened actually, how I got sick. <clears throat> and by the way, I'll tell, talk more about these cards uh, at the end of the video. Um, but uh, how I got sick as a friend, you know, everyone knows I've moved to uh, Florida, uh, Clearwater, Florida. And uh, I have a friend who's living near ish Orlando in Apopka and uh, decided to visit. And so we uh, went over to have uh, dinner and a walk around at the Hard Rock Casino Seminole, which is uh, Indian. And for those of you who are not American, the Indian casinos are casinos on land for, that is, uh, belongs to and can be developed by the native Indians who have um, sovereign rights over these parcels of land. So there's no gambling in Florida except at this uh, casino, this Indian casino, yes, and it's the Hard Rock, so it's a nice uh, adventure for them to get into. So anyway, friend wanted to visit there, um, and uh, so we drove over to meet said friend uh, for dinner at uh, Hard Rock Cafe, and you know, I don't include videos of my personal life because, you know what, it's my personal life. <laughs> and, uh, and then um, walking around the casino, Although they did have two rooms that were smoke-free, and when I say rooms, I mean immense rooms. Two rooms that were smoke-free, you have to walk through these smoke-filled casinos to get to the ones that are smoke-free. So that evening, uh, after we got home, the clothes had to go into the hamper because everything smelled like smoke. Had to have a shower because your hair, your skin was all smoke-smelled. And the next day, I noticed I had... Um, you know, a raspy little bit of a voice and a tickle in my throat, and I thought, well, it's all that smoke. And sure enough, I actually got a, I guess you could call it a summer cold. Is it too late to say it's a summer cold? And uh, and it became a full-on, uh, stony nose, um, red eye thing, and I was a little worried about it. But at 4 o'clock yesterday, exactly, um, all the symptoms went away. I mean, it was that noticeable. I was sitting in a chair watching television, and it was almost exactly four o'clock and I realized, oh, this cold is finished. And it was. And so I don't just have this little, uh, whatever's a remnant here, a little uh, congestion, but uh, it's on the way out. So that's what happened to me. Thank you for being patient and waiting for me. Now, who we're gonna read about today is uh, Harry and Megan. I wanna know about their new ventures. Ah, such a bad card shuffler. I wanna know about their new ventures. Um, and I, you know, you have to wanna know if they're going to somehow get connected back to the royal family. The royal family needs help. Then uh, that brings us to Catherine. And what is her long-term uh, prognosis? Is something going to happen that's going to um, make this a better road for her? <coughs> and then Princess Beatrice, I think she just had a baby. And it seems like maybe she is going to be the one of the two sisters who might pick up some slack, but we'll ask the cards that. So, that's everything I want to know, but before we do any of that, we're going to take just a moment. Oh, that was terrible. Let's try that one more time. We're going to take just a moment, best we can do, for meditation. Let's see what's in the cards for Harry and Megan's 
uh, ventures and future <coughs> with the Royals. I'm going to do, I think, a full Celtic cross. And if my voice starts to go, I've got a glass of water here. Because I do feel it being a little bit scratchy right now. So I do have a glass of water standing by. Um, Harry Ming, his ventures and their uh, future with the Royals. So let's do six cards and there'll be a dyadic cross and if it's going well do another four cards. And they'll make it ten cards and that'll be a full Celtic cross. Okay, this is three, four, five, six. So Harry and Megan, future ventures. What can the cards tell us? And probably the last four we'll deal with the, their future with the Royals. So signifier card, Harry and Megan, their ventures. <coughs> wow. This is the tower card. This is a disaster. Wow. But uh, it also means that when one thing ends, something else is going to begin. But I mean, this is a significant um, card of not a good fortune. And that's a signifier. And we're talking about their ventures. I've got a note here in front of me that, I, that keeps blowing back that tells me what I'm supposed to do, um, the topics. Then, um, well, this is very interesting because just like I said, so this is the world card. And um, so when we uh, have a tower card as the signifier, but then we have challenging it is new starts. That's interesting. So this makes sense. Their ventures are going to be, uh, there's going to be a lot of disappointment there. And it's challenged by the fact that they're trying to get a new start, trying to get a new start, trying, trying to get a new start. But these cards also represent the end of something definitely and the beginning of something else definitely. So it talks about the difficulty and uh, predicts a little bit about what's going to happen. So something is going to come along. The basis of all of that, what was right here, is that, and this jumps right into the royal prediction because this is uh, Pentacles. <coughs> I guess this is going to be the Knight of Pentacles. Typically, there's a horse that represents the Knight of the Knights. But let me flip through these cards quickly to see uh, how Knights are represented. No, this is a page. Okay, so this is a page. So the Page of Pentacles is then telling us that um, the the basis of all of that is that they've lost their gravitas as far as their royal um, attraction to the world. That's a waning. It's down to the value of a page. Not a, not a knight, not a queen, not a king, a page. But they still have it. They st they've got something to, de to deal with. In the past to that reading for their future ventures is this Four of Swords and the Four of Swords is always talking about being cautious. Now you can see right here, the Four of Swords are embedded into this building. And these people are eating underneath. But these folks are protected by this, this um, awning. And the exposed tables that are empty would be the ones that would be subject to a problem. But so as long as they are aware of the dangers and don't venture uh, out the caution, uh, you know, without caution, that's going to be... But that's in the past. That's in the past. So, okay, so perhaps they've navigated through that. Or that's what's taking them up to this point. In the sky of this, then, uh, we've got the also four, but this is the four of pentacles. And the four of pentacles is being offered something you don't really want. If we look deeper into this, um, into this card, we see that this old man is almost in a ballet studio. And there's ribbons on the wall. And so this is, this is some sort of value. This is something that this person doesn't want. This is um, theater, this is uh, uh, entertainment. So I think this is Harry not seeing himself in the long term as being some kind of entertainment for people. And then the likely outcome of this, which is about their ventures, is um, this nine of wands. And so the nine of wands is really, really in battle. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement, and it's just a hard slog for Harry to adjust to this new kind of life where if he's going to be of value in the Western world outside of England, it's going to have to have some entertainment value for us. 
Now, let's talk about uh, back to the Royals, them getting back. What is their value to the Royals? Is there a path back to the Royals? Do they want to go back to doing something Royal? What is uh, up for them in four cards in that regard? So the very signifier of that question, the very um, self of that question, we do get a night of actions, plans, forward movement. Okay, so this tells me that, you know, like the knave has so little value in the royal uh, scheme of things, the knight is going to fight for his action, for his plan, for his royal remit. This is Harry. He's not giving up the fight. In the environment of what? Um, as far as being part of the royals again. In the environment, uh, <laughs> the, a new journey. This will be a whole new uh, iteration of Harry. So it's, a, it's beginning a new journey. This fool is walking on a wall. He can fall either way. He can fall off the cliff or the side of the uh, the protective wall, or he can fall into uh, a bed of, of flowers, sunflowers, as a matter of fact. But that's the the environment that this planning that he's got is in. It's all new. It's nothing that was happening in the past applies to what will, would be his uh, application um, or uh, value or availability or or interaction with being part of the royals. The hopes and the fears for that, <coughs> well, this is exactly right. This is the five of pentacles. Pentacles are uh, money or, or value. And this is being outside of the value. This is not being inside the, um, the church. This is being on the outside looking in. So that's the hopes and the fears that he can be part of the uh, inner crowd and not be not included and typically this card is displayed as someone on the outside as a matter of fact looking in through the window of the church someone uh, disabled or crippled looking into the window of the church in this case we've got five musicians inside and we're inside the church in this case so it could be that, that he could be a player well that's the hopes and the fears anyway but then the final outcome for that for Harry is um, the Two of Swords making a choice. Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. And the Two of Swords is making a choice. Which way are you going to go? Yeah, he has to, I think, for, to be in with the Royals, it's going to have to pretty much be all or maybe nothing. So that's what I see for Harry and Meghan on those two fronts. Now, Catherine. What a sad situation that is. So, And we don't know what's going on. So Kate, Catherine... In the long term, ah, pardon me. How is um, how are things going to play out for her in the long term? Is there a plan for Catherine in the long term? Are they thinking that this won't pass and this is the end for Catherine, and they know when the end will be? <sighs> Catherine, what about Catherine in the long term? Six cards. Diet cross. That's what we're going to do for Catherine. So one, two, three, <coughs> four, five, six. Catherine in the long term. Signifier card. Oh. The Ten of Swords, Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law, the Ten of Swords is an end. There is no long term. The challenge to that is the Five of Swords. <coughs> Again, Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. The Five of Swords is really a, a struggle, okay? It's not going to be an easy end. The basis of this for Catherine in the long term is, yeah, is that she's a fighter and there's a lot of compassion for her with this, this Knight of Cups. So the whole point of Catherine is that we care about her. I think she's going to take the place of Diana. And the past of this is her strength. So her strength is what's gotten her to this point, but it's in the past. And in the sky, this uh, reading for Catherine in the long term is this Nine of Pentacles so is for her the nine of pentacles is the privileged person they have just all the value all the money all the wealth that they need and so this shows this person 
interesting enough with kind of short cropped hair or maybe in a ponytail right here but with a like a hank of hair it looks like to be added on right here wow is it cancer uh, that's what's in the sky of this to retain her dignity to retain her value that's what's driving um, everything uh, concerning Catherine as, far, Catherine as far as the Royals are concerned and the likely outcome for Catherine in the long term is it's a wheel of fortune it still is not completely determined prepare for the worst hope for the best just like uh, when you're when you're playing at the casino okay so there's that now Beatrice as far as uh, her importance so you guys can correct me in the uh, comments if I'm wrong but I believe <clears throat> she just had a child and I wonder if having a child her husband I think is quite well off but and will this be her second child and will having a child be make it more difficult for her to have a separate um, uh, identity or a separate job uh, in the real world will it actually be easy for her easier for her as a royal to to uh, operate and I think that's what she'd be looking at Beatrice, six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beatrice importance. Beatrice's, Princess Beatrice's importance. Signifier. Wow, we go right to the King of Pentacles. She's important to the monarchy. The challenge to that is ah of well, the end of a cycle truth justice rules of law is the end the all the challenge to that is all the ends that are taking place with uh harry and megan with catherine with king george king charles i always want to call him king george the basis of this then <coughs> the very basis of this is the the knowledge of this privileged person's value the nine of, of pentacles so the basis of this is that she does retain she does inherently have value that can be conjured up and enhanced and in the past of this again is that nine of wands is that the but the battle is in the past so the difficulties the plans those are kind of in the past in the sky for Catherine is this okay is the hierophant so in this okay so what's what's ruling everything for her is uh, like the government or, or, or the monarchy really and that's in her sky so that's in her favor that she's going to be of some importance <coughs> Excuse me so much. And the likely outcome of this would be nine of what? What are you? This is the major arcana. Oh, this is the um, the person. Um, I forgot the name of the card, but I know exactly what it is. I can interpret it for you. So this is when you're uh, the uh, looking for your way in the dark. You've got a staff by your side there is a road to follow you've got a light that's illuminating the way this is a hermit card i know i get it so but this is the person really carefully planning their future looking for a way forward i think she is going to have some importance in the future of this monarchy definitely that's what i got hey i'm going to show you the cards now hang on a minute so this impressionist tarot these cards are everything that i've ever wanted in a set of cards except for the quality and i'll tell you what i mean the um, box is fantastic. It's a beautiful box. If you gave this as a gift or if you got it as a gift, you'd feel like, wow, somebody really put some thought into what they were uh, giving me. And the guidebook is very useful. It's a full color guidebook with very thoughtful uh, ideas as to the divination of the cards. And uh, the, uh, the creators of this are Corrine Kenner and the artwork by Arturo Pica. And so what they've done is they've actually taken Impressionist's um, that you will know of and uh, and that you will see art in galleries and um, and use their art to make these cards and and so what they've they've taken the actual artwork um, and sometimes uh, Arturo Pica has added elements to the original art to help in the divination or he may have blended a couple of uh, pieces of art uh, from one or two or uh, artists to uh, get to this uh, this work here but they're gorgeous to use I love them 
And uh, I feel like this is just a good way to get the cards mixed up without creating too much damage to them. I mean, some folks like to kind of really handle the cards and bend them and break them you know, to uh, make them theirs. That's just not what I like to do. Uh, nothing wrong with that if that's what you like to do. But uh, this Impressionist Tarot, I'm so happy with these cards.